gives a soul the universe wings to the mind flight to the imagination and life to everything welcome to my new pod episode of my podcast speak it out life would be so boring without music we might never know about famous singers like charlie puth or shawn mendes etc today we have someone special a musician an actor the lead singer of slaves of rock my brother avinav sharma what's up what's up again how are you i'm, I'm fine. good man how are you so welcome to speak it out a new podcast in which we talk about a specific topic and then speak everything about it which is in our heart so what does okay. music for you music is a lifeline for me well it's like you know i have been playing it up in last 8 years so it's like it's in it's a hobby and it's kind of you know a daytime run time or stuff like that and you know i love to play music and i've been playing what i want to play so it's not like that we guys are into mainstream or something like that but yes we are playing music from last 8 years and it's a very good feeling when you are on the stage and people are cheering for you and you are playing what you want to play and you are not playing what others want to play so it's a good feeling for me music is peace like it is something that helps me escape from this world and whenever i'm listening to music i am in some other world where i'm listening to music and according to google it is a vocal or instrumental sounds or both combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form harmony and expression of emotion so when was the first time you enjoyed listening to music so yes i was in 11th 2011 so we bought a guitar and my brother he started learning guitar and i was like i was looking at him you know every day got some new thing to play on guitar and we both started jamming on the guitar and at that time a movie came out three idiots so there was one song in that movie uh if you remember uh i i can't recall the lyrics but sari um raham mar mar ke jeene something like that yeah so at that time it was very difficult for me to play that song so i kept on playing that song for last you know for at least 20 25 days and when i finally made it when i finally you know uh, jammed the whole song on the guitar it was out of the world feeling for me i was like okay i have achieved something which i was been trying from last 20 days and it was i cannot explain that feeling it was superb 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 feeling it was yeah it is really difficult to play guitar i have tried it so many times i just know how to play happy birthday and that also i always forget about it so now for me, i enjoyed listening to music was the first time that was my mother used to listen so she had a speaker and she used to listen to songs so from that time only i was interested in music now about your band how are slaves of rock doing uh it was kind of paused for from last two years but right now things are getting rolling and the ball is rolling for my band so it's like we are trying to record some music some original stuff and hopefully we will bring them out Mm, maybe in late december or something it will depend upon how the music will go and how the band will go for the recording and all that stuff okay awesome and you can also buy slaves of rock merch and rest you can tell about uh, tell the viewers about your merch yeah so we have a website it's s l a v e s o f r o c k dot com you can go there and you can buy much of our band it's like we have different varieties over there so you can check it out and who thought of making the band like who was the main um, who had the main idea of the, the band so it was like me and my brother we were influenced by the band metallica guns and roses acdc and motorhead bands like that so we had we already had a plan and set of things that 
we want to do some rock and roll and all that stuff so we fortunately got one drummer in our hometown and we went there and we started jamming and we felt good we felt like yeah we can jam with him he was playing nice drums and yeah we started playing with him uh, in 2014 and yeah then we struggled to found one bassist because where i live in currently near new delhi it's it's difficult to found a bassist a pure bassist a proper one so when we found him and you know the whole band got complete and it's been nice since then and are there any future plans about your band I already have plans. Me and my brother, we never want to lose our band. And the thing is that we never play music alone, rather than playing with our band because it's like it's it's a basic policy for me. I don't know about others, but I never play music commercially or maybe you know proper music without my band because it's out of my rules. And I have big plans, but let's see if everyone supports and everything goes good then. We do have big plans for our band. Okay, what came in your mind when you thought you wanted to be a musician? Nothing. Okay, <laughs> so like I started you playing. You just made a band, and that's it. Yeah. Yep. We started playing guitar, and we felt good. So you know, day by day, when you keep on playing your thing, and you want to, you know, cover the, those songs which you just listen. Just now, let's say I have written a song just now, and I want to cover it. So that enthusiasm, you know, gives you push of power to keep on doing your music. So yes. let's stay on. Yes. And one day in my school, when I was in third, I guess. Um, so I was really interested in music. So what I did, I I had a bunch of my friends, and I decided that let's make a band. That never worked out, but still we thought of making a band. Okay, what all instruments can you play? I can play ukulele. I can play guitar, and that's all. I have tried bass guitar, but you know, it's kind of a form of guitar. So yeah, only guitars I can play. Nothing else than that. Still, it's cool. And what yeah. genre of music do you like? Hmm. Well, there are two things. Uh, if you say. What music I want to do, then it will be thrash metal and rock and roll. And if you say what music I love to listen, any time it will be, you know, pure Hindi Bollywood music of late 70s, 60s, and till up to 80s. But and still goes with the Western genres, the thrash metal bands of that era, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They were superb. Now, you, yeah, they were superb. The era was superb. For me, I kind of like all of the genre because nowadays, like we are stuck in this quarantine. I'm watching some of these musical drama movies, like La La Land, and there yeah, is yeah, about, yeah. about jazz. So it is yeah. a really good movie, and about music, it's really good. There are many mu- movies which are drama based and musical, which are very good, and you get to know about the uh, genre of music. So exactly. We can watch School of Rock as well. Yeah. Okay. Music is a very valuable thing in my life, and it is something which I enjoy. What about you? Well, same here as well. Uh, so, I've been to many places to do my job because I'm an IT professional. So, it's like I need my guitar and I need my you know those one two hours a day to get myself out of this. All of this thing, what's happening right now, my job, my life, and whatever comes in between 24 hours. So it's like I need those hours to escape from reality and to go to the virtual world, which I have created in my mind with my yeah. guitar and my book. It's so like an imaginary world I, which you make with music, and it's exactly. very relaxing and it's peaceful. So thank you exactly. for coming to speak it out, brother. I hope you enjoyed sure. coming here. For sure, for sure, I do. Thank you for sharing your knowledge about music, and yes. thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and share my videos. Follow me on Instagram, Ajin Sharma 2007. And what about your? Follow my.
follow my band on Instagram. It's Slave of Rock, and it's cool. You can find everyone out there. So keep rocking, bro. Thank you keep for watching. Bye for now.